Now, something interesting, too, speaking of pitching, Chris Bassett won yesterday for the Oakland A's, pitched a good game, a native of Toledo. He went to the University of Akron. Now, an interesting news story that's come out this past week, we have learned that the University of Akron is cutting their baseball program, so guys like Chris Bassett now, a local product we won't see anymore. J.T. Brubaker, sixth-round pick for the Pirates this year. Joey Haverlack, 18th-round pick from the Tigers. So this Akron baseball program has put some guys in professional baseball, some guys at the major league level, but... There's no more baseball program. Well, and, and now you got guys that are juniors that are going to have yeah. to possibly find a way to go somewhere else and complete their baseball career. So be interesting to see how this story evolves. Absolutely. Yeah. Andre, you're from that area, and I know that, that you've got some insight into this, but for Akron losing their baseball program, what does this mean to that community? It's a huge deal because it's a blow not only to a kid from Toledo, but Jensen makes a point. You got, you got half the team now that's searching for, well, do I keep my scholarship and just go to school, or do I continue my dream of playing baseball? I think the other thing that it's done. I'm a Kent State Golden Flash, and Kent State has had a great baseball program for really going on 20 years now. It's been amazing. I bring that up because Akron has kind of followed suit. Those two are rivals. And what we say, it's kind of like North Carolina and Duke. You know, they're, they're five miles apart. They both are competitive in every sport. And what it's done, because Kent State has been so successful at baseball, Akron has been able to kind of get the overflow of players, the guys that, okay, maybe you can't go to Kent State. And I think for our whole panel, now, Jen, you know, Jensen was able to go to Vanderbilt and pitch and play, and that's great for him. But, hey, for guys like you and Al, you and I, we were debating between a Division I school or Division Three, and, you know, when you're on that cusp, it's one more score, one less school that a kid, you know, the locally has a chance to go and play. And Akron has put a lot of money into their program, great baseball facility. They've really started a lot of – they have a great football facility. This has been a blow to the Akron community and kind of come out of nowhere because the basketball program has really taken off. They've talked about building an arena. Uh, and, unfortunately, we've watched this with Cleveland State locally now with their wrestling program and, ba and baseball program. Program. Uh, it's just a hit to Northeast Ohio because if you're a kid growing up here and you love baseball, that's one less opportunity that you have at the Division One level. And let's be honest, when you're 16, 17, and 18, that is the dream that you have is to play Division One baseball.